Now, this is the number one question I'm asked about hypnosis. Hypnosis? Just what is it? That is the number one question I'm asked about hypnosis. I want to talk to you today about that and answer the first of the most common questions that I'm asked. Most people really don't know what hypnosis really is. Uh, most don't know if hypnotherapy, magic, and Harry Potter are all the same thing. <laughs> The closest they've come to witnessing hypnosis is seeing what TV and the movies show. Or they, maybe they've seen an after-prom show of stage hypnosis. While stage hypnosis is real hypnosis, it's geared toward persons who are easy to hypnotize and take direct suggestions well. To me, I'm not like that, no. In this video, I'll tell you the answer to the number one question I'm asked about hypnosis and explain a bit about how it works. Let's get started. Okay, I'll admit, I didn't know much of anything about hypnosis either before I started to study it. I was having some health issues from standing in my flower shop long hours. I knew that I needed to change to a profession that allowed me to be off my feet for part of the day. And hypnosis just kept coming up to me. I felt like God was leading me to this place and I'd better listen. I really thought it was just a whim of my own mind and I'd learn a little bit about hypnosis and then I'd get tired of it and I'd move on. I was so wrong. I found the only accredited school of hypnosis in the world at that time. And the great thing was they have an introductory class to teach hypnosis that's free they still have that and i figured i'd take that class and i'd get the hypnosis bug out of my system but after uh that i was totally hooked after my 30 days i could see the power of hypnosis and the good it could do there was no turning back for me hypnosis is a heightened state of awareness that allows you to learn at a very fast rate very small children are in this state most of the time. You've probably heard a proud mother say her child is soaking up knowledge like a sponge. She's right. Small children can take in information at a high rate because their subconscious minds are open to it. When an adult is in hypnosis, they can also learn at this rapid rate. That's why it's so much easier to change a bad habit like smoking, overeating, or biting your nails with hypnosis. Under hypnosis, your hypnotherapist will retrain your brain to change to an alternate behavior. This creates new neural pathways in the brain and allows for rapid change. That's why it's such a great secret hack to learning that you can use. Want to improve your golf game and beat all your opponents? Use the hypnosis hack for improving your game. Want to quit smoking once and for all, even if you failed multiple times? Use the hypnosis hack and kick it this time for good. You want to lose weight even when your friends doubt you can do it? Use the hypnosis hack to get the edge you need to reach your goal. The truth is, you're in and out of hypnosis all day long. When you're in the zone, oh, that's one of the hypnotic states, athletes practice long hours to gain that skill and the ability to get in the zone at the crucial moment of the game. You're also in hypnosis before and after sleep for roughly half an hour. Daydreaming is a level of hypnosis, as is meditating and even prayer. Since we're in a type of hypnosis or accelerated learning as babies and small children, we learn incredibly fast, but we do not have a maturity to make very good judgment calls or completely understand right from wrong. At about age eight or nine, we develop the critical mind. That's the part of our mind used to make decisions and judgment calls. At this time, we develop a code of conduct and we weigh what we experience around us against that code. But we also lose most of the ability to communicate with our subconscious mind. There's a filter or a barrier there. We've already taught our subconscious mind how to act, react, and behave. It goes along with that mental file box of life lessons and weighs every experience against it. 
Next week, I'll let you know another common question I hear about hypnosis. Join me, and if you liked this content and have something to say, let me know in the com uh, down in the comments. I really love to hear from you. And if you want to see hypnosis in action, um, with this blog post, I will post one of my actual client sessions that's recorded for you. And you can find more of those on my YouTube channel, Indiana Hypnosis Center on YouTube. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.